what I'm sensing is happening here is um, I do feel that for a lot of you there is something beckoning you from the past and you're very preoccupied with it and um, at the expense of you know friendships new collaborations new group things and new opportunities to expand your social circle you're preoccupied with something from your past and you're not um, giving weight and credit to everything that's happening in your future and everything that is has the potential to be very fruitful in your future and along with that it's the oppor the the um the penchants to overlook new romantic prospects and possibly even you know getting into a, an argument with like a, a significant other and not being able to forgive him or her mainly because you're holding on to past grudges okay is what i'm sensing a lot of you might be in involved with a an earth sign this is a pisces excuse me um an earth sign so this is a taurus virgo capricorn there's also a water element associated with this but let's talk about the earth sign first a lot of you might be in new relationships with an earth sign and there's something that that is in their past that they've been doing that is exposed and you're not happy with it but i do feel because they're showing up in the upright position it indicates a lot a change a progression happening in their lives and as a result of it you really should give this a, a second chance mainly because i feel that they've learned from the past and they've tr they're trying their best to move on uh, for those of you who are dealing with um another water sign for example cancer pisces scorpio i do feel that you're feeling a little bit emotionally rattled this is a month in which I feel that past actions might have the potential to come back and, and haunt you. So you want to be very, very careful about what it is. And, you know, also learn to forgive and forget and let go of grudges. Because I do feel that the karma will balance itself out. Because we do have here the Wheel of Fortune as well with the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a card of the universe restoring balance and is corroborated with the Wheel of Fortune. So one minute you're up, one minute you're down, but I do feel that ultimately there is a greater, uh, a higher order to things that will restore the imbalances if there has been imbalances in the past, okay? So a lot of you might have, um, might be pining after an earth sign who has a little bit of a heavy history you so that could be you know exes it could be you know ex-spouses for example that are trying to pop into the picture and as a result of it you're feeling a little bit destabilized you're also possibly feeling a little bit hurt and betrayed and there might be rumors circulating around you that they're associating with somebody from their past but as a result of it um, at the end of the month you realize that the rumors were unfounded that you you were feeling not at your best when you jumped to conclusions, for example. So this is a month for you to really work through, um, work through your sense of security in your own self, okay? Know what you're worth, know who you're dealing with, know who your partner is, know the, the, the nuances between fact and fiction, sift through the information that is coming through to you and make sure you arrive at answers in a more logical way would be my would be the the best way to put this because i do feel that you are inverted you're you're the page of cups here you are inverted so you know the, the it's a water energy and water does if you're looking at, um, you know, like if you're staring at the reflection of the water or you're looking, if you're trying to look at the bottom of the lake, the, the water on top, the, the, it, it shifts and it moves and it's, the truth is distorted. And I feel like that's what you're looking at. You're, you're inverted. So you're from like the bottom looking up and you're not seeing clear a clear picture you don't know why there are people around you you know possibly spreading rumors and things like that but as a result of it there are definitely truths that need to be sifted out so don't trust what you hear go directly to the source to find out the information and if you are afraid to find out the information then you have to ask yourself you know are you 
Is it because you already know deep down that's the confirmation that you need? But either way, sift out the information before you jump to conclusions, okay? I do feel by the second, the last two weeks of the month, the information is going to come to light and the situation is turning around for the better because we have 10 of swords, but it's reversed, meaning that a situation can be gone back to and fixed. You also have the Wheel of Fortune, which indicates a reversal of luck, okay? And the luck situation... I feel that a lot of it concerns relationships, but there's also money in which you have the seven of pentacles reverse and it descends to the six of pentacles. But at the same time, the six of pentacles does indicate karma, karma, things turning around for the better. People that have owed you money will make a payment. So if you have been functioning on on a loss and you've lent money out and you've never seen any you know any attempt at repayment I do feel that the financial situation is going to look up for you by the end of this month and you're going to feel quite ecstatic about this so if there has been a falling out with a significant earth sign in your life over financial obligations who owes what and you know how repayments need to be made this situation itself is going to get corrected by the end of this month if there has been um, I feel like it's very love focused and I, I would strongly urge you to look at this we have the four here and we also have the three of swords okay I'm sensing that for a lot of you for a lot of you, there might have been a person in your life, and I, I don't feel that the signs are going to be specific here. I'm just reading the King and the Queen of Pentacles. There might be a person in your life where um, in the past they might not have been operating at their best. They're going around this time and trying to make amends. And you don't really quite trust it, so you're telling them, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. And they do jump through quite a few hoops for you. And after jumping through quite a few hoops, you can't really backtrack on your words and tell them, you know, oh, sorry, I didn't mean what I said. You are actually going to go through with it and give them a chance. And we have the fool here that indicates, you know, that leap of faith, um, being able to forgive, forget, and treat the other person um, in a dignified way. So this can mean, you know, rekindling things with them because you made that that promise you know that I'll, I'll believe it when I see it and now that they actually follow through you can't really back out on it so you're giving it a second try I do feel that it's going to end well so you don't have to worry okay so I do sense that things will be okay um, at the same time for those of you who are in coupled relationship and this is you know stable coupled relationship or even any type of a relationship that's coming through I do sense that um there's going to be a lot more balance. It's not apparent at the beginning of the month, but it's definitely coming through where your partner is actually taking... If you feel a little bit neglected because your partner has been working a lot or the, your partner has been you know, spending a lot of time um, with their social circle rather than you know, making alone making time for you, I do feel there's definitely stress on the work front that is taking them away from quality time with you. And as a result, they might just want to unwind, de-stress, and to hang out with people that don't require a heavy emotional commitment from them. And that's why they might have been absent, okay? Additionally, I do feel by the second half of the month, the situation will right itself. And there is definitely talks and breakthroughs in communication and also time for celebrations coming through the second half of the month. For those of you who are single looking, there is somebody for sure that you're, you've got your eyes on and you're pretty interested in. Um, a lot of you might be, you know, going from one relationship to the next because I do feel with a lot of um, Piscean clients that I've had, it's like one relationship starting on the heels of one ending. So if you are in this situation and you're not feeling at your best, you should wait it out because um, it's really, it creates a lot of miscommunication, trust issues, and unnecessary drama when we enter relationships, when we're not completely whole ourselves, when there's still emotional baggage that we are trying to grapple with or we're still grappling with, okay? And vice versa, if the other person has emotional baggage that you are aware of, if they have lingering attachments, for example, 
I do sense that you're going to have to be careful and you're also going to have to check to make sure both parties are complete before the relationship happens. It seems to me, for those of you who are single and have your eyes on somebody and you really want to date this person, I do feel that you might have recently ended a relationship and you're feeling a little bit dejected, I guess deflated, deflated at this point. And you're meeting somebody who fits, you know, your MO, who's like the ideal type. But this person senses that you're not, not that you're not their ideal type, but that you're not completely healed. So they have a pretty good gauge of character. They're pretty stable. And he or she is also uh, self-aware enough to know, or at least, you know, they've got a good read on people and a good... Um, they've got a good indi well, what would you call that? Like, um, they've got a good read on people and they, they might tell you that, you know, I'm ready for a relationship and this is what I want, but I don't feel that you are. So this is something you might want to think about. And when someone tells you that there might be some work that you need to do, some inner work that you need to do in order to heal yourself. Because once again, I'm sensing that by the end of this month, if you've done the necessary work, then you both can end up to in a very, very balanced, a very um, stable relationship, okay, where both sides are trying to better themselves and they want to become better people by working together as a unit. So I definitely feel that you're going to um, try to get yourself here, try to try to do this where the relationship is balanced okay so that definitely requires some work on yourself and I do feel that a lot of you who are in you know new relationships and this is somebody that you just started dating and it could be for the past few months I feel like for the past few months this is somebody who's like um, pretty a, a really good person and they're very stable very financially stable and once again, I'm not going to assign signs to this because I do feel that it is somebody who's very financially stable, who's very emotionally grounded as well. Um, you're hesitant about taking this risk or you at least you're cycling through, you know, one of those worst case scenarios and you're thinking and I feel that it might be trust issues from past relationships that are haunting you as well as that sense of inferiority complex where you might have, you feel like they might have the wandering eye, when in fact, they're just friendly, for example. So if it's trust issues, these are things that you need to work through in order for you to have a more productive um, love relationship, okay? So in terms of um, the work front, and I definitely sense that there's a um, work situation is going to start to stabilize. I also feel that for a lot of you, don't get distracted, okay? Um, if you are starting a new job and your coworker is doing things a certain way and you feel that, um, okay, so your supervisor is telling you one thing and your coworker is doing something else, listen to the supervisor, listen to the voice of authority. Don't try to cut corners by watching what your coworker is doing because they're not the ones training you. So be very careful about that. I do feel that financial worries, financial situations, you know, concerns are coming to an end. And I also sense that for a lot of you, there might be new work opportunities or at least financial help coming through from a very, very strong authority, not authority figure, excuse me, from a very strong source, very strong legitimate source. This can be a financier. This can just be, you know, mortgage loans and things like that coming through that you've been expecting, that you've been waiting around for quite some time. It's finally coming through. So this, um, the worries, the anxieties, and even the separation is, is definitely coming to an end. So you can, you know, finance that trip. If you've been looking to, um, to travel, you can finance that new venture in your life and it's going to be very fruitful. So do, don't let the past disappointment when it comes to money, when it comes to work, when it comes to love relationships affect you going into this month because this month seems a lot more stable 
And it seems like um, things are on the upswing for you, especially on the finance front and especially on the love income generating front as well, okay, on, uh, on the romantic front. So get out there, socialize once again. And I do feel that relationships are coming to be to, to a point where they are a lot more balanced, okay? 